fault finding individuals. Now it's never your fault and we are all here to learn. And of course, learning is key. Learning is the phrase. And of course, it's a maze. So you can never ever put yourself into situations of always doubting yourself or feeling like something needs fixing. 10 times out of 10, everybody have different perspectives and different ways of attacking situations. So never put yourself into a predicament of always needing to find faults in things. Sometimes things just gotta be let be. Can't really pretty much always try to look for the explanation about things because things needs time, things needs healing. And 10 times out of 10, you may also attract these individuals in your life that's always looking for fault due to their upbringings or how they was raised in their life and things of that matter. Never allow these situations to pretty much overtake you. This can play out into multitudes and magnitudes of your day-to-day -day life and your routine spectrums. So never put yourself in situations of always doubting or looking for fault. It's never your fault. You're always learning. And of course, every day is a learning experience for you to basically not make that situation a routine stagnation, which means that every day there's room for opportunities and of course there's room for improvement. So never put yourself into setbacks or feeling deprived or feeling unjustified just because certain guarantees and certain indigmas was not predicated towards how things was playing out in your actual day-to-day -day life. And you got to also be aware of individuals that's pretty much also taking fault findings for, as a situation. And two, because these individuals, they pretty much try to blame you for everything, too. Especially if you're dating these individuals. These individuals are pretty much, you can pretty much linger in them with the um, narcissist, narcissistic individuals. You feel me? Always looking for a hand to point at. Always saying that the person that they pretty much are relating with was always in the wrong. They're never putting themselves into agreements of saying they was wrong about things. They're pretty much trying to always build a certain cloud on somebody just because the individual may not be there to pretty much defend themselves or you're not hearing both sides of, of the story. This is what you call a toxic situationship, which means that y'all are on the ship together and this ship is brutalized, it's abused, it's all over the place. And it's pretty much broken into pieces as to where there's a whole lot of holes where individuals can pretty much go inside that hole or may not even have to go in there. All they have to do is basically peek through the hole. A little bit of water can get in that hole. That's how serious you guys' situation is. And of course, that's how serious it can pretty much get. You have to also be aware of these situations because these situations can play out on the highest magnitude people places and things maybe even also trying to use you for certain situations or certain endeavors and things that are mad and of course you may not be into the situation of agreeing to what they're basically trying to put on you but you got to be very careful you got to learn how to separate from these individuals when it's time because all that fault finding and all that in consideration that they basically put in the private on you is pretty much putting wear and tear on you behind the scenes and <clears throat> of course it's manifest behind the scenes and of course it's going to get manifested physically which means it starts to become a weight for you a pound for you and of course if you're creating too much weight in pounds that means too much shit is in your heart too much shit is on you and of course if you got too much shit on you you're not releasing and of course if you're not releasing you're holding these things in and when things hold in you start to get to the emotional burst pipes and so of course pressure bust pipes and of course, the wrong pressure pipe going to burst almost to the point the whole ship is going to sink. And all you had to do was basically piss that shit out and release and track back and not put yourself into that situation of becoming a setback. Now, that's how you pretty much entitle the situation because the individual is not going to look in the mirror. <clears throat> individual is not going to pretty much see their wrongs and the individual is not going to pretty much want to look in that area. Why? Because... Pretty much the individuals that raise that person are the reasons why this individual is like that today. <clears throat> and of course, this individual is going to use that as a crutch to pretty much make it seem like it's suitable and acceptable for you to basically put up with that shit. But 10 times out of 10, if you're not handling things at home, you shouldn't even be relating or putting yourself into a relationship. 
because clearly you don't love yourself. You're not trying to basically heal yourself. You're not trying to put yourself in a situation where you can basically better heal and put, put yourself into a predicament of relating with the right individuals. You're not pretty much doing that shit. So pretty much what it's doing is it's causing conflict and situations to basically start to build up. And of course, you're just pretty much putting your emotional baggage and weight on the other person. And of course, they fighting your demons now. While your demons is living through them and you're still fighting your demons. It's pretty much putting your shit, you're sharing a your load with someone else. And you're never supposed to be doing that shit. Because that's how you get blood on your hands. And when you get blood on your hands, all the shit that you was basically dealing with or pushing out is going to come back to you in the most highest magnitude. Because also you put someone else in distress. Being that you put them in distress, now they're in a situation of pretty much trying to get their, um, their um, suit of the tie. They're trying to make, they're trying to make ends meet. Basically, that's what they're trying to do, but on a good level. And of course, this is where it can put you in situations of putting yourself into um a dark sinking hole, a dark place. Which means, if this cord is not cut properly, if this cord is not pretty much tied and split evenly, then of course, this is where situations can play out into your personal life in general, whether you with a person or not with a person. And you have to be very careful with, of these individuals. And that's when things get can pretty much get violently and things of that matter. And when things get too violently, you already know ahead of time, you in a situation of either you're going to leave now or the person going to make sure you leave this existence on earth. So you have to be very careful and cautious when you're situating yourself with individuals. Because, of course, not every individual may be in your best interest. It may be a love affair in the beginning. It may be a shine brightness in the beginning. But truly, deep down, you're just pretty much sleeping <laughs> for the motherfucking demon. And when you're sleeping with that demon, that demon's going to be satisfied just because you're here. And just because you're here, and just because it's all smiles and laughs, that don't mean this individual ain't got an agenda. And we all know that we have an agenda. And our agendas can be good, and our agendas can be bad. But depending on the situation and how people is placing these agendas towards how they can relate with individuals in a harmonious or harmful perspective, this is how it plays out on a large magnitude, on a large scale. And of course, if you ain't got the ruler and if your agenda is not matching or pretty much holding in on the agenda that this person had with this individual, then that goes to show you guys have separate agendas and you guys shouldn't even basically be coexisting with y'all. Because of course, if you're in a relationship, your agenda is predicated towards building with each other. And of course, not pretty much always being separate or pretty much partnership differently. Because look at it like this. If you're in that situation, then you might as well just get titles. And of course, this can be a situation that we, we can only just be needing each other for this purpose versus us working together. Feel me? Sometimes it's good to basically take the load off your back and allow someone else to basically take the charge and take the bargaining. You ain't got to always basically put yourself into situations of always trying to basically do things for your own self or for your own sake. See, society taught you to basically do it that way. And of course, you ain't getting far if you ain't got an emotional perspective behind you or if you ain't got a form of female in your life. And of course, that's the whole purpose of the moon and the sun. And if you ain't have a moon, you won't manifest nothing. Nothing will be able to actually reign into your existence. Shit will just basically be too dry and too fiery. But shit can pretty much burn out. And when shit burn out and they ain't got no water to basically drink and get situated, being that it's thirsty, then that goes to show you ain't got a chick or emotional nature in your life to basically help you satisfy. You just only got fire, which is passion, the air, which is the own motherfucking intellect. And of course, how you pretty much deceive things. And you got the earth. And now, you know, air and earth, it mixed, but it has its own way of doing things. And of course, it can be predicated towards certain endeavors. But if you ain't got water supporting it, then you ain't got a, a bowl where you can pretty much use things to pretty much wash up on the shore. And if you don't have water, <laughs> then you ain't got no person to basically be fulfilled or justify shit. Should it just be too damn dry? And of course, you will feel depressed and lonely. Just because you ain't right and you ain't got a chick to basically support you. That's why it's always important to make sure that before you jump into any relationships, always make sure that you're clearing out the baggage from the past. Make sure any faults or any endeavors that you pretty much dealt with 
are not coming to collide with this new relationship you're about to basically coexist yourself with. And you have to be aware of these things. Because of course, if you're not aware to see behind the scenes or see the agenda that's basically being practiced on you, and of course, the person that's always putting themselves in situations of always finding fault with your actions or your energies, then you're going to fall short. And of course, the short is going to be a long one because now you have deeply rooted yourself into that relationship, that responsibility, that job. And of course, when a relationship becomes a fucking job, which Venus falls, then of course, you already know you have fucked yourself up and psyched yourself to believe that this person that you are with was a person that you can appreciate. But of course, you can't appreciate this person now. Why? Because this person has digged you a hole to sink in. And of course, you went in that hole because you ain't pretty much make the adjustments or the arrangements or the arrangements or the conclusions to say, by the way, faults are faults. But now, this is pretty much getting out of control now. Now you got to attack the situation. You can't leave the situation unattacked. Because, of course, if you leave it attacked and you party, you are the party of unattackedness, then, of course, this individual is just going to be using you as a weak-ass tool, a weak-ass tool to walk on. And, of course, when they keep walking on you, then, of course, the pressure going to get too heavy. And you can't handle too much pressure in the beginning because you're not facing this shit right away. You're allowing the pressure to get too intensified. And when shit get too intensified, shit get hot. Shit start to burn. And when shit burn, then, of course, that's the perspective where you have to learn to pretty, pretty much put out that fire. <laughs> Feel me? You express your emotions. Because all that shit you built up with inside of you, it wasn't having a practical plan. You wasn't using the earth. You wasn't taking action. You were just pretty much all in your mind. You was taking all the action with inside yourself to basically accumulate certain worlds for you to basically keep living in. And of course, if you keep living in that illusion, in that hell, then of course, you're going to jail. And of course, being in jail means that you're just in your own hell, your own jail cell. And of course, you're not going nowhere. You're not moving around because you're stuck into something. You're in a routine. It's something that you pretty much don't or truly imagine or desire. Now, you in a desire, but this desire is very demonic. It's very toxic. Too much snakes in the grass and shit. And of course, this the grass, you ain't cut the grass. So the person, all they doing is basically keep smoothing in your grass. And of course, you ain't cut the grass enough. You ain't allow the grass to pretty much go through a transformation. You allow the grass to get dirty. And you allow the grass to get all goddamn muddy and dry and shit. And of course, you ain't put no water on the grass. You ain't pretty much care for the grass. So now the grass is infiltrating your ass. And of course, now your ass is hot. And of course, when your ass hot, you can't sit down. You can't be comfortable. And of course, you're uncomfortable. And when you're uncomfortable, that means comfort zones get abused. And of course, when shit get abused, you don't have power. You don't have control. You ain't got nothing to walk on or stand on. Because you ain't strong within yourself. And of course, self come first before a motherfucking wealth. A.K.A. things outside of you, your possessions, and of course, how you relate to these things. And of course, wealth can be a person, place, or thing. And of course, if you ain't got wealth within, if you ain't happy within, if you ain't got your shit together within, then motherfucker, what are you doing? You got to get right with yourself. You got to go within yourself. And of course, love is always going to be found inside. Love will never be found outside unless you love yourself inside and of course then we're gonna go outside because you can't be inside forever because if you're inside forever you might as well be a lonely motherfucker you're gonna be a lonely motherfucker sometimes you gotta get out there sometimes you gotta express yourself sometimes you gotta get up off your ass sometimes you gotta go chase that cash sometimes you gotta get right with yourself sometimes you gotta get bright with yourself but of course it's all about how you endeavor this life and use this life in this perspective and of course this is how we pretty much get into hoots with ourselves so be very careful and be very aware of dealing with individuals that's pretty much always looking to basically blame you or pretty much put all they fucking baggage on you just because they don't want to basically take responsibility or spiritual responsibility. These motherfuckers are going to just use you as a crutch. Oh, you did it. Oh, it's your fault. Oh, it's for you. For me? Don't allow these individuals. For me? It's two. It takes two. And of course, if the balance is not there, then it's unbalanced. And of course, when shit get unbalanced, too much weight get put onto one spectrum. When you throw too much weight onto one spectrum, and of course, you ain't got no relatability with that shit, shit get out of control. So be very aware of this individual that you're basically dealing with. Cut ties with these motherfuckers ASAP. No Rocky.